Okay. This video is for the white in me. Now, I'm going to say this because I have a lot of quote-unquote white friends and white people, you know, who are close to me. And these people respect me and they respect what I say. Um, I went back and listened to a few of my videos. and um, I'm harsh on white people. Um, I don't want the white people that know me to take what I say wrong. I don't want those white people that know me to think that I don't, you know, care about white people or I'm uh, insensitive to their problems because, uh, like I tell people, we're connected a little bit different and a little bit deeper than you think. So, this is for the white in me. When I say things about certain situations, it's not because I'm anti-white or I hate white people. I do not hate white people. If you watch my videos and you watch the comments on my videos and you trace the negative comments back, they mostly come from white people. Through the course of my life, there's been times where things have been fucked up. Things. I mean, I remember one time I was at a friend, a so-called friend's house, and they had a little party, and I heard his mom and. Uh, her friend talking about, shit, he lives in the projects. Why is he in here? He may steal something. Come to find out this grown-ass one was fucking teenagers. But she's worried about some little black kid stealing something from her house. But hey, that's another story. So, in my life, I've had lots of friends. And during each course of my life over the last, well, for like this, during each, uh, I'm going to say series of my life, a series is a 12-month span. I have lots of white friends. My brother, when I go visit the neighborhood, used to always say, you got a crazy white boy riding with you now? I always have a crazy so-called white friend. And in saying what I'm about to say, I'm not bashing black people now. Most of the time in my life, whenever I tried to help somebody black, I've lost good jobs. House has been robbed. Brothers stealing CDs and shit. Uh, I met this one brother one time who was doing music and shit. I'll, I'll play the CD. His, he called himself Tex. He's from Texas. Uh, and shit, I thought he was cool at first. So, me and him go to the store. That's when my son was a baby. Got my son in the stroller and shit, you know. Not in the stroller, in the basket. You know, going through this little Albertson shopping center. Do, 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 do. And the Albertsons in our town, it's like you could just walk in the freezer and get the shit you want, then bring it out and put it in your basket. I said, man, go in there and grab us about four of those uh, 22 ounces of, uh, what was I drinking at the time? Miller Genuine Draft or some shit like that. So I stopped drinking that ghetto shit because, uh, <laughs> that shit kill us. So, um, the brother come out, man, stop and shit in his pants. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Motherfucker, if you leave me, it's on. Grab us a couple of them beers, motherfucker. I got my son with me, my child. Nigga stealing. You know. Then the motherfucker did some shit, beat up his girlfriend or something. I don't know. Motherfucker gets calling the house looking for the motherfucker talking about he spent the night in my house. I'm like, nah, that motherfucker ain't spent the night in my house. Hell no. Remember one time he was over and um, my wife said, babe, I'm finna go get a lottery. Could you give me a ticket too? I'm trying to touch her hand. Can you give me a ticket too? I'm like, man, you need to quit that shit. This guy eventually threatened to kill me. So I went inside with him. And I found my CDs all up in his goddamn car. That's a black guy. Most of young black people I fucked with have tried to do some fucked up shit or jack me, do some dumb shit. And some of them young people, they call it the Gafflin game back in the day, about a few, four, five, six years ago. You know, they try to play that game of, well, how come you, how can I get somebody to help me? I gave a young brother a ride to the store the other day. Hey man, can you help me get a pack of cigarettes? I'll buy you a pack of cigarettes. Can I get a beer? Same thing with a little black girl. I don't have a light. Can I get a light for my cigarette? Come on to the store, I'll buy you a cigarette lighter. Now, if you need a light for your cigarette, 
Somebody says, come on in, I'll buy you a cigarette lighter. Can I get a pack of cigarettes too? Then you just need to light it. So get, get some cigarettes. I do that sometimes. And I don't have it like that. And now let me get to the so-called crazy white friends I have. I have some white friends that will not let you say anything negative to me. I have some white friends that will not let you stand next to me if they think you're going to do something fucked up. I have some white friends willing to die for me. And that's more than I can say about any of the black people that I have befriended in the last 25 years. That is what I can say. I can say within the last 25 years, every encounter I had with somebody black, um, put them all together, 85% negative encounters with black people. White people, on the other hand, same 25 year span, probably about 45, 60% negative. But that 65% negative is a fucked up negative. Because with fucked up black people, you know what you got coming. Fucked up white people is like the snake getting the bitch to bite the apple. Hey, man, let's do this, man. I'm all down with you. Da, 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 da. You my boy. Da, 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 da. Bam. What the fuck, dude? You got... You got... You got fucked up shit, Paya. I can't fuck with you. But the drama is different between whites and blacks. So for the white people that I love, the white people that know they they part of my family, the white people that know me from Butch to Mr. S to Mike to Michael, You know, I don't hate white people. And I know it upsets you guys sometimes when I say certain things about white people. But half the shit that I say about white people, I point it out to you. You've seen it with your own eyes. And this is for every other white person out there. The ones that don't know me. And the ones that don't think they know me. The ones that watch the videos and just want to say nigger, you niggers and all that. These are the white people that I'm slapping. These are the white people that I'm hitting. These are the white people I'm trying to break down. And like I say, what makes a thug? I know more thugged out little white boys than I do black kids. Is it because I moved to the suburbs? I can go to the hood right down the street. It ain't my hood from the bay. Right down the street, there's a neighborhood. Eritreans, Mexicans, and poor blacks. I said in a video that if you hang with the low, it's hard to get up off the ground. All my life, I've been surrounded by shady characters. White, black, Mexican, Chinese. Asian oriental all of them and there's one thing I learned about people poor people that bottom half remember I said there's a line the top the middle and the bottom poor people are not just in the bottom poor people in the middle and poor people in the top not many poor people in the top there's four people at the top, four people in there, four people at the bottom. For all my people, I discriminate equally. I've had bad experiences with everybody. And for the white in me, and for the white people that believe in me, I am truly sorry if you've taken anything that I've said in the wrong manner. Because you know just what I'll do. You know. You know these haters have all colors on YouTube. I just want to tube them. And, um, fuck them.